Hey guys, what's up? It's me. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video and makeup collection and storage video. So yes, and a little disclaimer before I start this video. I'm not trying to rock it anyway. I don't even have that much makeup anyway. So yeah. So first, we're going to start at the mirror. So this is the mirror. I have this makeup bandy from Target, I think. I got it for Christmas. Then up here, I have this G that I got for Christmas from my grandma. And this one's just plain. So yeah. So let's start at this top row. So first up here, I have most of my brushes. I have... Sorry, it's lighting though. One second, guys. Okay. My brushes, I have an elf brush. A wet and wild brush. Another elf brush. You know, mostly elf brushes and essence of beauty brushes. And yeah, I have quite a few, but... This little mason, this mason jar makes it look like there's not a lot because, yeah. Then I have this, my favorite perfume ever, just sitting right here for every day. Then I have a pair of earrings. Then I have a lotion just sitting right here, you know. Then I have, sorry, a hand sanitizer. Then I have my ring holder with my rings that I wear all the time in. Then... I have this another perfume sent up by the pool Bath and Body Works. Another perfume filled with sugar by Bath and Body Works. Then this cotton candy perfume. So then I have this candle from Pink Sambra. Then I have this little thing of glitter because I'm obsessed with glitter. Then I have this little donut. Then I have this lotion. It's just a real memory lotion from Bath and Body Works. Then I have this little box and have a little scrunchie, a mirror, lip scrub, pencil sharpener, you know, all the stuff that I need. So yes. So just onto the top. I just have a Sprite because I've been drinking it. I have um, a steel globe. And then I have some sticky notes because I do homework and stuff on here. And I just have a hairbrush. So I'm going to start at these two front drawers so let me move my hairbrush and so right here so this is all of my eye things like single eyeshadows i only have one though <laughs> um mascaras eyeliners all that stuff as you can see it's also black <laughs> so i have this little eyeshadow duo of cream eyeshadows this one i use an eyeshadow primer so yeah and i also have a um color workshop eye pencil a Claire's Brow Gel, a Color Institute Eyeliner, Liquid Liner, um, Color Institute Mascara, Elf Mascara, um, an Elf Liner, Elf Liner, a Revlon Lash Glue, a NYX Sparkle Eye Dust. Um, Maybelline Great Lash and Color Institute Eye Pencil. So yeah, just get everything back in here. And these are the little knobs. They're so cute. They're like little diamonds. And yeah. Ah, let's back in. Okay. So then, on the other side, let's use this. I'm just using like a little sticky note for coaster. Okay, so this is the drawing in the size, and this is like full to the brim. So first, I have this that I just got today that I'm wearing. Okay, let's see it. Uh, this Revlon liquid lip. I have this Broadway lip gloss. This I Heart Owls lip gloss. Another I Heart Owls lip gloss. A Color Institute lipstick. A Burt's Bees lip shimmer. A Color Institute lip liner. A ah, a uh, one wild lipstick. A Burt's Bees lippy. A Revlon lipstick, I think. Another I Heart Owls lip gloss. A Color Workshop lipstick. Um, another I Heart Owls lip gloss. I got a lip gloss that I Owls. A CoverGirl lippy. A, um, 
another CoverGirl lippy. <laughs> I think I like CoverGirl, but I kind of don't. I don't know. <laughs> then I have an, I have Owl's another one of my lip glosses, and yeah, that's it. That's all of my lip products. Let's get them all and put them away. <laughs> Yeah, that was literally all of my lip stuff. Yes. This can be hard to close sometimes, but I always have to make sure get everything organized. Okay. So now here's just the clean top, not really clean, but clean. Then we have this middle drawer that's kind of bigger. So as you can see, I have my face stuff in here. So we're gonna start by the back. So I have my makeup wipes I have um, a Mary Kay signature palette I love this palette I use it like every single day the lipstick in it too and then a spare uh, makeup bag <laughs> then let's do my concealers first so I have this Avon extra lasting concealer it's my summer concealer my concealer that I made, it's just one of my foundations mixed with a powder that was my skin tone, like an eyeshadow. <coughs> and then I have my favorite concealer at the moment, LA Colors uh, Cover Up Pro Conceal Stick. I really like this concealer. Then on to my BB creams and foundations. I only have three. Uh, Garnier BB Cream, I'm about to toss this because it's like empty, if you can see. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> then I have this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation. You probably know. I have it in 112 Light uh, Natural Ivory. Then I have a Sassy and Chick Foundation. You know. Then I have this lotion that I use as a primer. Then I have a powder puff. I have this LA Colors bronzer. I don't really use that, this that much anymore, but I keep it just in case I want to use it sometime. Um, I have this Golden Glow teaser, which I'm pretty sure is just powder foundation. That's what I use it as. Sometimes I will use it as a bronzer from like super, super, super light, or I just want like a super, super natural look. So yeah. And oh, my throat hurts really bad. <laughs> then I have this LA Colors loose powder, as you can see, and I have it in light. But <laughs> Uh, then I, these, the Fit Me stuff is new, and then the Revlon thing is new. I just went shopping, like, literally a few hours ago. I have the Amelia Fit Me Man Poreless Powder. It is a 110 porcelain, 110 porcelain, 110 porcelain. Sorry, this is what it looks like, you know, it's my skin tone. Very light. Then I have... My e.l.f. contour palette, and I have it in assorted. I am obsessed with this contour palette. It has a contour, bronzer, a powder, and a highlight. And that contour and all of these things are perfect for my shade. So, yeah, I love it. Then I have this Color Workshop contour palette. And all my Color Workshop things, Color Institute things, came in two separate, you know, um, <coughs> uh, sets. You know, so this is the palette. You know, highlight, blush, and contour. I'm not a big fan of that blush, like red, much, and I already have rosacea. So yeah. Then I have this Elf um, little pillow thing in Turks Kiss Cold the Coast Kid. I don't really know. And it has this uh, highlighty color. It's really orange on me, so I don't really use it. Then I have this contour color. I will bring this if I ever go traveling instead of like my big contour palette. So yeah. So then I have two more things in this drawer. Then we're going to move on to the palettes. Um, I have my Elf Kabuki brush, which I use just for my loose powder or for my Fit Me powder sometimes. But yeah, I really like this actually. It's really big and fluffy. Then I have my Bloody Bender. My beauty blender. I really, really, really love beauty blenders. They blend everything so, so, so easily. So, yeah. So, that was it for this drawer, as you can see. So, this is everything that was in that drawer right there. So, we're going to move on to palettes. So, I know. Messy. But, all of my palettes are down here. Sorry, I have the splitter stuff. 
let me just move everything super quickly. Okay. So, yeah. Down here is all of the palettes. Sorry, I'm trying to still sit in this chair. It's not very really working very well. So, first we have uh, <laughs> this Color Institute thing that I got for Christmas. I'm pretty sure it's Color Institute. And it had a bunch of stuff up here. Then there's two drawers. Sorry, I'm like holding this in one hand. <laughs> there's this drawer, which is just an eyeshadow palette, which is really, really beautiful. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry, I'm trying to make this go right. Then I have this other thing with um cream eyeshadows, um glitter cream eyeshadows, lip glosses, lip glosses, two eyeshadows right here. Um, a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. So, yeah, this was what's in here. Okay, so now we have all the palettes in here. So, first, I have this color workshop palette. Yeah, then I have this LA Colors matte palette in brown tweed. Uh, yeah, I really actually like this palette. <laughs> then I have why am I laughing all of a sudden <laughs> I have problems um, then I have this LA Colors Glam Palette and it's just the purple one you know Ugh. then I have the Revlon Color Stay Not Just Nudes and I have it in <coughs> two romantic nudes that's what it looks like I am in love with this palette right now it's just such a good palette and yes! <laughs> so, then I have this Avon True Color 8 in 1 eyeshadow palette in Not So Neutral. And I love this palette, actually. Um, as you can see, three of them have fallen out because <laughs> I've used them so much. But yeah, it's such a good palette. I totally recommend it. It's like $3 too. So... Then my last palette. I have one. The Mary Kay Signature eyeshadow palette. My, like, normal one. I think you've seen it in a video before. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. I have this color theory. Uh, let's see. Color theory. I have 50 eyeshades. Eyeshadow palette. You know. Yeah. I've used this so long. It is expired. <laughs> I've had it since 2011. And the good thing about this is it's cruelty free and stuff. So, yeah. So, that was all in the palettes and that was all this stuff. So, yes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, um, comment down below video suggestions. And, again, please subscribe for more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have problems. So if this was like upside down the whole time, I'm super sorry. I don't really care at all. <laughs> so yes, again, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, video suggestions. And yes, I love you guys so so very much. Bye.